ever wondered how extraordinarily complex and efficient your body is? It's a marvel of nature that's right under our noses, yet we often take it for granted. But today, let's take a moment to appreciate the wonder that is the human body. The human body is a magnificent network of interconnected systems working in harmony. Each body is a unique composition of trillions of cells, each carrying out its specific function to make you, well, you. These tiny units of life are the building blocks of everything, from your hair and skin, to your heart and brain. Now let's zoom out a bit and consider the larger parts of the body, the organs. Each organ has a specific role to play, and they all work together like a well-oiled machine. Your heart, for instance, tirelessly pumps blood around your body, delivering oxygen and nutrients to every cell. Your lungs take in oxygen from the air and expel carbon dioxide, a waste product of cell metabolism. And your brain, well, it's the command center, controlling and coordinating everything that happens in your body. But it's not just about individual cells or organs. It's about how they all work together, in a symphony of life that's happening inside you right now. Your nervous system sends messages zipping around your body at lightning speed. Your circulatory system delivers life-giving blood to every corner of your body. Your digestive system breaks down food into nutrients that your body can use. And your immune system stands guard, protecting you from disease and infection. It's a constant, never-ending cycle of life, growth and regeneration. And it's happening inside every one of us, every second of every day. So the next time you look in the mirror, Take a moment to marvel at the incredible complexity and efficiency of your body. It's not just a vessel, it's a miracle of life, a testament to the power and beauty of nature. Now embark on a journey to understand the incredible human body better. We'll dive deeper into each of these systems, unraveling the mysteries of our own existence, one cell, one organ, one system at a time. Did you know your brain is the most energy-consuming organ in your body? It's true. The brain is like the command center of a spaceship, controlling every aspect of the vessel, or in this case, our bodies. Let's delve a bit deeper into this fascinating organ. The brain is divided into several main parts, each with its own specialized task. Up top, we have the cerebrum, the largest part of the brain. It's split into two hemispheres and is responsible for all our voluntary actions and the processing of sensory information. It's also where our thoughts, memories and feelings reside. Underneath the cerebrum lies the cerebellum. This is our body's balance master, coordinating our movements and ensuring we can walk in a straight line or catch a ball. The cerebellum is like the gymnast of the brain, always keeping us agile and coordinated. Moving on, we have the brainstem, sitting at the base of the brain, connecting it to the spinal cord. It's the brain's unsung hero, controlling various automatic functions like breathing, heart rate, and blood pressure. It's like the autopilot of the brain, silently keeping us alive and well. But how does the brain communicate with the rest of the body? Well, it's all done through an intricate network of nerve cells or neurons. These neurons transmit messages as electrical signals through the nervous system, allowing the brain to send instructions to every part of our body. It's as if the brain is the CEO, sending emails, or in this case electrical signals, to the rest of the body, ensuring everything runs smoothly. From controlling our heart rate, to enabling us to think and dream, the brain is undeniably the control center of our bodies. It's a tireless worker, operating 24-7, even while we're asleep. It's an organ of immense complexity and power, a testament to the marvel of human physiology. Indeed, the brain truly is the maestro conducting the symphony of our bodily functions. Ever wondered about the tireless worker that keeps you alive every single moment? Let's dive into the world of our heart, the ever-persistent lifeline of our bodies. The heart, a muscle about the size of your clenched fist, is the most vital organ in our body. Nestled between the lungs, it beats about 100,000 times in a day, pumping an impressive 5,000 liters of blood. That's enough to fill a small swimming pool. This incredible organ plays a crucial role in keeping us alive and well. But how does it do it? Let's break it down. The heart's primary function is to pump blood throughout the body. 
This blood carries oxygen and nutrients, the essential fuel for our body's cells. Without these, our cells cannot function, and our body would come to a halt. But the heart doesn't stop there. As the blood travels through our body, it also picks up waste products, including carbon dioxide, from our cells. This waste is then carried back to the heart, which pumps it to the lungs where it's expelled from our body when we exhale. This efficient recycling system is all thanks to our heart's ceaseless work. Moreover, the heart also helps regulate our body temperature and pH levels, both of which are critical for our cells to function correctly. It's like a central heating system and a chemist, all rolled into one. So, why is the heart so important? Well, without it, our cells wouldn't receive the oxygen and nutrients they need to survive, nor would they get rid of their waste. Simply put, without our heart, there would be no us. In conclusion, our heart is more than just a muscle in our chest. It's the lifeline of our body, a robust and reliable workhorse that never takes a break. It's constantly working, day in and day out, to keep us alive and functioning. Without a doubt, our heart is a robust and reliable lifeline. Imagine a pair of bellows in your chest, working relentlessly to keep you alive. This is a simple yet powerful way to think about our lungs, one of the most vital organs in our body. Our lungs are the primary actors in the grand play that is the respiratory system. They take center stage, performing a constant exchange of gases, a dance between oxygen and carbon dioxide. This isn't a simple two-step shuffle, but a complex ballet that keeps us alive and well. But how exactly does this dance happen? Let's break it down. When we inhale, our lungs fill with air, much like a balloon inflating. This air is rich in oxygen, a gas that our body craves for survival. Once inside, this oxygen is captured by tiny blood vessels called capillaries, which are nestled deep within the spongy tissue of the lungs. From there, the oxygen is transported by our bloodstream to every cell in our body, providing the fuel needed for all our bodily functions. This is like a delivery service, dropping off much-needed supplies to every corner of our body. But the dance doesn't stop there. The cells in our body use the oxygen to produce energy, but this process also creates a waste product. Carbon dioxide. This carbon dioxide needs to be removed from our body, and our lungs are ready to take on this task. The capillaries pick up the carbon dioxide, carrying it back to the lungs. And then, with a simple exhale, we expel this carbon dioxide back into the atmosphere. Just like that, our lungs have completed one cycle of the breath of life, ready to start the next. This continuous exchange of gases is a subtle reminder of the constant work our bodies do to keep us alive. Every second, every minute, every hour, our lungs are in action, ensuring we have the oxygen we need and removing the waste that we don't. Truly every breath we take is a testament to the remarkable work our lungs do. So, the next time you take a deep breath, remember the intricate ballet happening within you. Ever thought about the journey your food takes after you swallow it? Let's take a moment to appreciate the fuel processor of our body, the digestive system. This amazing system starts working the moment we take our first bite and doesn't stop until the last nutrient has been extracted and the waste expelled. Imagine your favorite meal. Now, picture your first bite. The process begins in your mouth, where your teeth break down the food, and enzymes in your saliva begin to dissolve it. This makes the food easier to swallow, and starts the process of breaking it down into nutrients. After you swallow, the food travels down the esophagus, a muscular tube that connects your throat to your stomach, this journey is aided by a wave-like motion called peristalsis. Once in the stomach, the food is mixed with stomach acids and enzymes to break it down further into a liquid or paste. Next, the food enters the small intestine, an incredible 20 feet long organ. Here, it's broken down even more by enzymes and absorbed into the bloodstream. This is where the magic happens. The nutrients from the food are taken to every part of your body, providing the energy you need to live grow and repair cells. But the journey isn't over yet. The leftover food and water that wasn't absorbed by the small intestine travels to the large intestine or colon. Here, the water is absorbed, 
and the remaining waste is compacted into stool. The stool is then expelled from the body through the rectum and anus, marking the end of the journey. This extraordinary process, from mouth to rectum, takes anywhere from 24 to 72 hours. It's a complex and vital process that keeps our bodies running smoothly. So next time you enjoy your meal, spare a thought for the amazing journey it undertakes inside you. And remember, every bite you take fuels this incredible machine we call the human body.